Hi, my name is Bobby Dixon, and you're watching Smoke and Tell That. Hey, hey, what's up, what's up? It's your girl, Tanisha. Catch me on your TV screen. Woo, woo, woo. And you are now watching another episode of Smoke and Tell That. And on the side of me, I have Bobby yep. Dixon. Yes. So introduce yourself. Yes, uh, my name is Bobby Dixon. And, uh, I'm an actor and a model and also a producer uh, for the radio station. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Now you got that far. Okay, so tell us about the, the radio station and how did you become? Uh, so actually, this this past week has been like my first week of uh, doing it, but honestly, I like been piecing it as I go because I still really don't know much about the radio. But um, my boy, uh, shout out Lil John, stop it. He's a uh, it's his radio station, mainstream okay. radio. Y'all tune in, y'all will see me and him every week. But um. Yeah, he actually just hit me up uh, a couple weeks ago and was just like, hey, are you, like, want to do something new, add on to your career? And I'm like, I mean, depending on what it is, but he was like, yeah, you'd be the producer of the radio session. I'm like, I wow, mean, sure. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so how long have you been doing radio? About a week. Well, you just started? Yeah. That is amazing. Okay, cool. So have have. How has it been so far doing radio and being a producer? Okay, <laughs> I mean, period. I'm not gonna lie. So you do you um you do like me? You get people, get guests on the show yeah. and do all that. Okay. Yeah. So I actually <laughs> literally I, before I walked in, I was literally setting up on getting somebody up to be on the uh, radio station. Really? Week, so, yeah, I'm, I'm working. Wow. Okay. So what's the name of the radio uh, show? Mainstream radio. Period. Okay. Yeah. All right, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you are an actor mm -hmm. and a model. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that and what step did you take to become? Well, so really I, the first thing I did was acting. So I, I started off doing a theater in high school. That's, that was kind of like put me on the path of like where I'm at now. Um, really, I, I can't even remember her name, but it was my, <laughs> <Just a second. laughs> um, I'm sorry, but it, it, my, it was my English teacher. She was a... Uh, um, doing like the plays around that time when I first started okay. and like at that time I was like I was playing basketball I was, like, one of the cool jockey kids so like I thought it was like eh, I don't see me doing acting but I actually did it and then I got like mad good feedback after the process and like that made me like love it more and then okay. I was like hey maybe I could actually consider doing it mm -hmm. so ever since then I've just been doing it and it's been still on the journey so how long have you been doing acting? I've been doing acting since I was 15. I'm 23 now. 2015? Yeah. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. Been... So what made you want to start modeling? You sound like you in my my <laughs> type of area right here. So what made you want to start modeling? And that too. I didn't like honestly I never thought of doing modeling until like I just like did um a photo shoot because like one of my friends, he uh at the time he was starting uh photography. And he's still doing it like it's he's elevated to what it is now but i just did like a photo shoot and just like kind of like put it on like his website just for the heck of it so but i just i me personally i was just doing it for fun and then i like posted wow it. you just did it for fun yeah i was i posted it and then it was like everybody was like dang like look at you like you look good like, <laughs> you look like a model you should model actually professional i'm like oh for real wow. like, i guess so ever since then just with acting i've just been kind of just Fell in love with it. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so I saw you said that you played Trayvon. Is it Trayvon Martin or no. Tray some uh, another Trayvon? Just another Trayvon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what Trayvon is it that you play in the uh, the movie Line Em Up? So well, it, it's a TV show. But it's a TV show. Yes. Yeah, so shows. what could what could we watch it like? So it's actually about to be coming out soon, but it's gonna be like on to the Amazon Prime some other platform uh, sites you can watch it up but most you for sure would find them on okay. too. Uh, the character Trayvon is he's in his young he's in his 20s um, he has a brother 
and they're trying to get into the drug game. Wow. So, because, you know, they're living, they see all their friends, basically the people that they're trying to be associated with, they see all them making the money, have the girls, have the cars, and they're kind of, you know, still living in the hood and not trying to grind for another dollar. So, they're trying to, like, get into the drug game and trying to level up to be the bosses that they, they look up to. So, you'll you'll see me, you know, struggling to work my way up there, wow. make, make a couple it's mistakes in the process, but you'll see... You'll see some action for sure. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Okay, so what other shows do you have coming up? Do you have any other movies you do? Well, actually, I have another. Uh, any more talent shows? Being a <laughs> model and all that? <laughs> well, with, with Line Em Up, I actually am in another uh, short film um, directed by the same guy who filmed Line Em Up. Uh, shout out to my what's guy, uh, Michael Stevens. Uh, yeah, he's. The goal of directing, so he's he's uh, the show is based. Line him up is based in Tampa, so we filmed the show in Tampa. So oh, he's, he's a Tampa boy. Oh Tampa no one, I'm like he's okay, not from no here. Heard of yeah, he's not from around here. So if you if you're from if you're in Florida, if you you should know him because he's pretty well known in the film film business. So. Okay, so um, are you thirsty? Yeah, I can take some of the drink. Okay, so this. Give me a glass, so I can pull you up. Okay. Champagne with it. Mm-hmm. I know when to stop. You're good. You said you're good. Okay, so taste really a little a bubbly bubbly. Not really a sh champagne guy. So <laughs> testing it out. Good. Okay, it's not bad. It's so while you drinking out of that, I'm going to drink out of this. Okay. No, because uh, I just had a birthday, so I'm going to do a little <laughs> thing right oh, my, now. Mine's coming up, so I'm going to do What is your birthday? November 5th. Man, I was October 8th. Okay. And I was celebrating for like the whole little week, let down the field, trying yeah. to poop away, <laughs> stuff like that. So, I'm going uh, to stop. <laughs> stop at this right here, this little, this little sippy sip. But I want to try, try this because this is a new uh, type of flavor I'm drinking right now called Sweet Apple. So, let me take that. No, that cup really did just throw me off. Okay, sweet apple, yellow, yellow is y'all killing it right now. Okay, so so out of all the movies in this, uh, with like, and you said you've been doing modeling, so which one do you prefer the best? Like, which one would you like to do? Um, I would honestly say acting. Why did like, you choose acting? Because honestly, like. If if people really know me personally, I'm very like a private person, a very like closed off at times. But acting, what's your sign? Scorpio. Okay. <laughs> That's, I had a feeling that. Was <laughs> okay. But yeah, I would say acting because like acting really like the, the different characters that I play in the past and in the near future, like it gets me like kind of like out of my comfort zone mm. and it gets me to like really experience new things and just like that's just the type of person I am I like to experience like new people like new people new environments new cities like so mm -hmm. I like to travel so like yeah acting yeah I would say acting okay so have you had any downfalls like in pursuing your career like um yeah honestly like when any I struggled? started started it off because uh that's why I really don't now it was it's different now but like especially when I being 15 still in high school and like you know wow. going to certain people and be like hey actually this is what i want to do and like you'll have like the people that's like no it's it's not it's not realistic or mm -hmm. something you need to do like uh, get a real job but mm -hmm. like back then like i will let like people's opinions like mm -hmm. it, it's a fair yo uh-huh until i just kind of yeah. said forget y'all i'm doing me yeah Yep, staying focused on doing what you with with what your goal and what your your main focus on. So yeah, I definitely know where you're coming from with that. <laughs> so okay, so we for to get ready for the smoke questions. Had glass. <laughs> it's the smoke questions. Okay, so are you ready, Bobby? Yep. Okay. What is the worst lie you ever told your parents? <laughs> uh, the worst lie, the worst lie. I, I kind of still 
still do tell a lie. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what lie is that? That I am still a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> and they believe it? Deep down, I... I, I bet you your know, dad don't believe it. He probably like, yeah, son, just yeah, tell me yeah, anything. Yeah, but my mom, she's very... You quick to be on the fence, so I'd be like... Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay. So, what are you most scared of? Most scared of? Um, I would say losing close people to me. Oh, that's a good answer. Yeah. Wow. That was a good answer. <laughs> okay. Um, how would you describe yourself in three words? Um, bold, mm, humble, and patient. So tell us why you, you uh, chose those three words. Well, bold, humble, patient. Like that. I was, I will start with bold because, like, I would say, like, I'm not really afraid to, like, pursue what I want to do. Um, I'm very head on to like, if I have a path and I have a destiny for where I see my life, I'm going to go take it. I like that. Humbled. I, I like that. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Period. <laughs> <laughs> humble, I would say I'm very humble because like, I know that I'm me coming from an all Christian family and growing up mm. in the church. Um, I'm very like, God can, you know, it can be easily take away anything, any blessing that come in your Amen. life. Amen. So, uh, yeah, I'm very humble. And I, don't, I don't like to, like, brag about, you know, my blessings and upcoming mm -hmm. blessings. So that, I, that's why I would say humble. And patient, uh, I'm, st don't get me wrong, I'm still working on my patience. But it's definitely has improved <laughs> since, <laughs> since my career has started. Because, like, yeah. especially in this industry, like, patience is, like, the one of the top top three things in my opinion mm -hmm. that you need because people like to have people think that success can mm. happen overnight and i'm gonna be honest and tell you it's not it's a work in progress y'all so if you think that it's you want to be an actor tonight and think that you're gonna be in a movie with michael b jordan tomorrow i'm gonna let you know now <laughs> it ain't gonna go down like that it definitely ain't, <laughs> it ain't gonna go down like that so <laughs> you said <laughs> Yeah, it definitely takes time, you guys, yeah, boy. You gotta, you gotta work. You, you gotta, gotta work, work at it. it. Yep, so, yeah, those are three things. That I'm mm -hmm, but that hard work and the most, and the most important word of them all, dedication. That is the most important word. Like, not to give up. Your dedication is the key to keep it going. Mm -hmm. You know, some, some yeah, some of us we do fall off sometimes. <laughs> Like, yeah. you know what, I do that tomorrow. I don't, I don't feel like doing it today. You know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't gonna go on set today. I don't feel like, but yeah, that dedication, keep work, keep going at it, keep working at it, and then you will be surprised of what it came out to be. So, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. Yep. So, yeah, okay. So, what is on your bucket list? My bucket list. And you know what's crazy? I was just talking to to my uh, DJ that's on the mainstream the other day about this, but. So we literally having a whole conversation about it, but like one of one of the things that's on my list, and I'm still manifesting it until it happens. But I want to be on Power. That's like one of the top things that I'm trying to be on. You said Power, like the TV show. Mm -hmm. So but wait a minute, hold on. You you went, you never did extra work. Yeah, I have done extra. That's how I also started off too. So what shows have you done to be an extra? Uh, Empire. That's it. Um. Yeah. For the top. Because everything that I've done has been like supporting roles in theater. Mm -hmm. So I have not really been up doing, it's not a lot, but it is a decent amount of work if you get what I mean. Because you know, there was like a moment in my life where I kind of took like a pause mm -hmm. in acting. And then, mm -hmm. and then, mm -hmm. and then <laughs> yeah. And then, and then COVID happened, and then yeah. and then just recently, I don't know if you knew there was a strike going on. So uh, it's the last the last couple of years, you know, 
So that's why, I, like, now I'm, like, on full throttle since, like, everything's kind of, like, back to normal, quote-unquote. Let me ask you this question. Have you ever heard of the, um... <clears throat> The company called Four Sarcasm, but you said you mm-hmm. Empire. Yeah, so that's, that's how I, you know, did get an Empire, that. right? Yeah. So, do you have a POP profile up? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, so have you been checking your POP profile? I just, I just recently, I'm gonna be honest, I have not been on it in years oh, until, until God. like a couple of months ago. Until like uh, one of my uh, people that I work with just was like, "You need have you? When was the last time you've been on?" It? I'm like, I'm not gonna lie, I've been mad long. She's so like, it's been some years. Yeah, been so I had to just I just recently updated it. So <laughs> okay, because um I'm I'm, I'm just gonna say because that's that's what I'm on to right now, and they are still sending out bookings for uh for shows. Okay. So all you have to do is just keep your profile up to date. Yeah. And check in to see if they email you so they can know that you're still actively interested in the show that they're sending out to you. Okay. Because I just got booked two days, you know what I'm saying, two mm-hmm. days ago. So all you gotta do is keep stay active on them. Yeah. That's it. That's all. But they definitely casting for. Power and all that, so you mm-hmm. can definitely, you know. And there's another thing too. Have you ever watched their shows? No, I watch all. So by watching their shows, pay attention to what they showing on them. You know what I'm saying? Like they show, they show like what a lot of gangster thugs looking yeah, type of guys. I mean, well, especially like the one in Chicago, since it's you know Chicago, it's a lot of like people that you would see like on the street, like normal, normal people that would dress like how I'm yeah. dressing right now. You know, so I definitely, that's one thing about acting and like people don't really like realize like it's not just like you say words on the camera and you go home. Mm-hmm. Like, you gotta like, mm-hmm. it's a little bit, mm-hmm. a little bit more critique, critiques and like how people move and people's reactions, mm-hmm. people's emotions and like other people's like body language. So like the thing is with acting, you kind of have to like take note to all of that. Yeah. And plus you kind of have to like know how like how you're gonna like portray that character right because you know at the end of the day you're representing for the world to see it right like tommy yeah you see he's a regular on the outside world he's a regular guy but he know how to play a hood a hood Mm -hmm. brother so you know sorry to cut cut you off but you are already in the acting field, so it shouldn't be so hard for you to like take photos of being like take a photo of being like looking like a thug, take a photo of looking like an yeah. artist, take a photo of looking like a DJ. Yeah. Like show them that you that you have these type of different mm-hmm. characters that you can play. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Give them the them show them the put the attention on you on your profile. Like man, I could look like this, I could look like that, I could look like that. Yeah, because and flip it up. Yeah, because like one of the things about acting is like you you don't want to be like. Just like every time you get a go for a role, you don't want to just be, oh, they'll just be you. It's just like just a thug type. Actor. Mm-hmm, right, give them you different type of characters. Yeah, yeah. you want to be able to branch out, like yeah, new things. Like you could be from the hood and play, yeah, be a, a Sherlock Holmes type character. You mm-hmm. never know. So like that's the thing. Adopted. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone? Like if you pay attention to the show, be like, dang, she she play, he playing it. You know what? I'm going to go get that little outfit, mm-hmm. put this on, put that together. You do you do your own photo shoots? No, so I have a, a photographer. That oh, well, okay. Well, period. That's your photographer shoot. Man, hey, I want to dress up like a thug right now. I want to dress up like a doctor right now. You take this photo right now. So I can put on my POP profile. Mm-hmm. So let them know that you're active. Yeah, yeah. That's the key. Be active. The, that's the whole thing. Not even just active. Just in this in this industry. In general, you gotta just be busy. Yep. You gotta still true, be yeah. showing your face, even when. Especially if it's your passion. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. So my last question is, what would your younger self not believe about your life today? Would not believe about my life today. Um, honestly, my younger self wouldn't believe that. Like, I'm. 23 about to be 24 and I haven't even lived a quarter in my life yet officially huh like till 25 oh that's, that's what I say quarter. oh <laughs> I'm like, like wait you never had a quarter no <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> okay go ahead but uh I, like people that I've met people, like places that I've been like growing up how I grow up as a, as a kid I just never would have thought like I would be just the person that I am today, like very comfortable with myself, very open, you know, with just how I move, how I am as a person, not really caring.
hearing how like people feel mm -hmm. about you, especially if it's negative. Mm -hmm. like, back then, you know, I was just like kind of like I was just like in a in a in a bubble, you know. This was, was like mm -hmm. I needed people's approval, I needed people's opinion, and you know, I always needed people to like me. Like, oh wow, I'm, I'm cool being me. That's good. Yep. That's what's the that's the most important thing of you loving yourself. Like, I, yeah, loving yourself is what make you a better you. Yeah. So yeah. So do you want everyone to know where they can find you on social media? Yep, so the radio show and all that and stuff, like let the people know. Yeah, so follow me. My Instagram is King Bob, K V N G B O B with a B. And you can also find me on mainstream radio. Specifically mainstream radio, look that on Instagram. You'll catch us on the radio Monday through Thursday, seven to ten every week. Come out. You might if you want to get an interview with us, just let me know, DM me, make it happen. Okay, so you guys have been watching another episode of Smoke and Tell That. Thank you for tuning in.